and so I think choosing really interesting films um, and showing them and, and having conversations about them can be really interesting and illuminating. What inspired me was the fact that I was having a lot of engaging conversations in um, our film classes and I kind of just wanted to do that in a like more relaxed setting outside the classroom. But one of the things we did is we got a grant from the French Cultural Ministry mm -hmm. of a couple thousand dollars and we showed these French movies. And so we would have these nights where uh, we'd show French movies and, and students would come by and watch those. Yeah, we definitely want to have like our own showings, like maybe some drive-ins or down at like the Speed Museum where we can just like grab tickets for everyone and they can go on like a Friday night or whatever. I had a film club at, at my former school in uh, East Tennessee. Um, it became a really tight-knit group, so much so that we talked about like, can we do something bigger? And we ended up going to London and Paris for a class. There was a period in, of time when film was important enough that um, people would get in fist fights over it a little <laughs> too important to them, maybe. Um, but that there was like a real kind of cohesive film culture around at college campuses and things. Now I think film competes with a lot of other media uh, in, in most people's everyday lives now, so it's maybe not quite the same as it was to maybe the people who taught me film studies. Mm -hmm. But I, I still think that there's a real chance to build these sort of film communities, both just around people who love movies and want to show them, love to show them to other people, love to watch them. Um, you know, there were folks that once we started showing movies, they would just show up with some popcorn and like, are you doing movies tonight? Mm -hmm. Like, just to see something.